Hey guys, it's Tim, and it's time to be thinking black, gold, and green. It's the start of a new semester, and that means new stuff. It also means classes are in full swing. It can be expensive and wasteful, but it doesn't have to be. Buying new means that new paper is made to print the books on, and it also means they're more expensive. Instead, try looking for books that say used or rental. The used books at Barnes & Noble's bookstore are always a great quality, and much cheaper than buying new. Rental works much the same way, where there are a set number of books in stock for a class, and instead of printing new books for every student every semester, they can use the same copies for the next batch of students. Rental is way cheaper than buying the book new, and it's often cheaper than even buying it used. One of our most inexpensive options are e-textbooks, because the company doesn't have to print those at all. You get to download your books right onto the computer, iPad, or tablet, and BAM! All of your semester's books are suddenly lightweight, inexpensive, and at your fingertips. So, you've got your books, and maybe you've treated yourself to some new clothes too. Always an awesome way to start the semester. But instead of burning, hiding, or tossing out your old stuff, donate it. There are a few Goodwills and thrift stores around campus, and on campus we've got the Knights Helping Knights Pantry. They take clothing donations so that your stuff goes to good use. And so you know, you can only donate business attire or UCF-affiliated clothing. Are you making a donation? Yes, I am. Thank you so much. Have a good day. The semester's already going, which means you've had your first round of tests and papers due, which means a lot of printing. When printing, remember to go two-sided. It'll save paper, help you stay organized, and remember, if you don't need it, don't print it. Likewise, if you, don't, if you print it and don't need it, Throw it into a recycling bin. They love that stuff. If you're like most college students, you're going to get hungry, and you don't always have time to whip up a gourmet home-cooked meal. Luckily, UCF has plenty of choices for you right here on campus, and if you're going to get some, go to Nitro's or Marketplace, and don't forget to grab a reusable go box whenever you go there. These bad boys are dishwasher safe, microwave safe, and best of all, after you're done eating, you won't have any dishes to clean. You just bring the to-go box back next time you come and visit and exchange it out for a new one. Or get a key card that's good for one to-go box whenever you want. The Dining Services does a great job of helping students eat green. So next time you're deciding on where to grab a quick bite to eat, go on over to either of UCF's amazing eating locations. And also, don't forget to pick up a reusable tumbler so you can get 99 drink refills anywhere on campus. If you're trying to beef up the semester and you use sports drinks, consider buying in bulk. It's a lot cheaper than buying individual drinks, and it's also a lot more efficient. If you're also using water, think about the Phillips station that they have right there at the gym. So, Amy, what are some of the ways that you like to reduce and reuse? Well, one of my favorite ways to reduce is to buy food that has less packaging, so focusing more on buying the fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, and less of the freezer meals, mm -hmm. because there's just so much extra packaging. The other way I like to reduce is to use reusable grocery bags. And whenever I can, I take them to the grocery store so I don't have that clutter of plastic bags hanging around the house. And my favorite way to reuse is when we buy anything that has a big cardboard box. We save them, break them down, and use them as drop cloths when we paint. If we're painting the walls or furniture or anything like that, that way we don't get paint everywhere. And then we also save boxes to give to friends when they're moving and then they can use those boxes, pack up their items, and then hopefully when they get to their new location, they can use those boxes and give them to someone else. Being green doesn't mean being a tree hugger. It means being smart about the way you live. I'm Tim, and I hope I got you thinking about being black, gold, and green.